previously. Oh! It's a masochist! The challenge has begun! And with that, fellow masochist, I wish you good game! On Master Duel Masochist. Oh! We did it! Platinum! Oh my god! What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. If you're hungry for some more wins, then take the stress out of figuring out what to eat with HelloFresh. Whether you want to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help. With quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you, just choose your recipes and select a delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and the shopping, so all you have to do is open your box of pre-portioned ingredients and get cooking. HelloFresh has more options to support your wellness journey than ever before. Dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options and even more market items that suit any healthy lifestyle. And don't worry if you have strict dietary restrictions because HelloFresh offers plenty of meals to suit your needs. Click the link in the description or use my code SEMOFREE and get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. But of course, it would not be for hitting platinum if it weren't for purchasing one of the finest master packs. And we're never lucky. Melfi Penny. Mecha Phantom Beast Raiten. Stardust Flash. Oh, good. We got Snake Eye cards. Great. We can start building Snake Eye and Masochist. Could you imagine? Dream Mirror. Rising Sun Slash. Tragedy's not a terrible one. It's Teller Knight All Sam. Check out the legacy packs. Maybe we'll get rewarded here. Of course not. Light Ray Sorcerer. That's like an interesting card. Attack and receive. Share the pain. That, that If there is a card to sum up Masochist, it's share the pain. Holy shit. We did it, chat. Just in time. Just in time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back again with Master Duel Masochist. We're going to try something a little bit new. The uh, Twitch chat over and I on twitch.tv backslash SEMO have decided to reconfigure the deck a little bit. Uh, we decided to add B Trooper Assault Roller as a extender that is also an insect. It's a fine card. I wanted to actually have another B Trooper card to pair with it, but it's still an okay thing that we can try out. The interesting thing I'm actually excited to see I was going to perform is Level Resist Wall. This is a card we've had before, and we sort of shell it. But after discussing it, we came up with the theory that if one of our level fours or bigger guys dies, we can level resist wall into Residence Insect, which then gets us to Beargrum. So by jumping through 500 hoops, it ends up getting us to a Beargrum. And that could be good enough. We also have two copies of this card. So if this card overperforms, it could be worth actually playing more copies of it. I'm not fully convinced, but... We have to get back into Platinum. We have to uh, just get more cards generally. If we're going to get to Diamond, our deck has to look way better than this. And so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's get to Dueling. Not a bad hand. I think we can work with this. We can't beat this. We can't beat, we can't beat this. 
we can't beat. I'm not even. Uh, we can't beat that. No, I'm just not even trying. We can't. Next. Uh. This hand sucks. Ah! Uh, it never ends. I can't beat this. I'm not even gonna waste my time. I can't beat it. If that hand was better, maybe, but that hand was not equipped for that. Okay, this we might have a chance. Maybe. This is on attack too, right? It's on attack, okay. So the play is, I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna set up so I can negate the maiden. Uh, this is fine. That's gonna trigger this. I don't even, I don't want the maiden. Ooh, do I want the maiden? Oh, that's all we needed. We didn't need the maiden. <laughs> I did not think they were going to concede that quickly. All right. It's going to be a good day, everyone. It's going to be a good day. All right. Let's open the Master Pack. All right. Come on, Master Pack. Try Eye Dice is okay. It's a tuner. It's not like the worst card. Not to, not really doing a whole lot for us, but it's okay. Chaos and Master sucks. Sue Ship, Sun Slash, Saber Slash, Arm Dragon Lightning... Hieratic, Spellbook of Wisdom. Okay, so the only useful card here is like maybe Triad Dice. Everything else here doesn't really do anything for us. Let's check out the Legacy Packs. I almost clicked the wrong pack because of the Duelist Cup. Anything good? Anything good? Ooh, Dialk's not terrible. If we do ever go back to like a Chaos sort of deck, this card would be pretty sick. It might be a bit slow, but it's still a good card nonetheless. Mountain Warrior, Cyber Soldier of Dark World. I always liked this guy growing up. I don't know why, but I always liked this guy growing up as a kid. <laughs> we don't play this, right? <laughs> we don't play this card, do we? <laughs> Isn't Raigeki at three? Oh my god, it's so tough. I don't play it. That's bad. We don't play that. That card sucks. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I'm going first. That is never good against the person who has the Chaos Max uh, mate. I think we just go normal Suprex set to pass. All right, Harpy's Feather Duster, Lightning Storm. What do we got? What do we got? How do I, how does he know? How does he know? Every time, every time. All right, let's get wrecked. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to be the follow-up. I've got to be honest. I mean, we go for it. That's a frustration attack right there. I could overlay, it's not worth it. If I survive, I'll overlay next turn. All of you, all of you, shut up. All of you do not say anything. I already know what you're thinking. I already know what you're all thinking. Fucking hate this game. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna amuse you all. Would any of these cards I'm playing currently have been an anti-Regeki? I'm gonna go with no. I I'm just saying, I don't think I would have swapped any of these cards for anti-Regeki. All of these cards are good. This is hilarious too, because now I can actually out this. Of 
course I get Raigeki the game after. Of course. Kaiju? Well, thanks for the Scorpio effect. I appreciate it. Also, for anyone complaining about the Gokis, this is why we play them. Like, this is crazy. You gonna make Chimera Tech? Oh, shit. This isn't good. I think we're still in this. Yep, make your Fortress Dragon. That's fine. Probably just try to go to battle. Oh, now we might be cooked. Does this count as Cyber Engrave? Or Engrave, yeah. They got two machines. That is a... Oh, they're going to make Rampage here. Okay, I see what's going on. So, I think... I think this will work. Uh, do I want this to defend myself? Sure. Last card in hand is Sidra. Probably didn't have to summon this, but I guess it was just in case. Nova. Nova. Oh, they're not even detaching for Nova. Oh, they don't have a target. Make Infinity. Infinity has to target attack position monsters? It does. Oh, it's going to equip this just to hit over the Archfiend. Oh, but this is going to be funny. Okay. Oh, because we can't activate the trap the turn it was set. That sucks. That's rough. Okay. Their last card in hand is a Cyber Dragon. I think I set the Suprex here just because it'll float into a Rescorpio. So I keep my card advantage this way. Vayne isn't doing anything, but neither is the Suprex in, in the face of this. Infinity is going to be rough. I'm going to need like a Bear Grum. I don't have enough targets. Only have two. They can negate this too, which I'd be okay with. I'm sort of okay with that because... If we get, like, Kashira Ogre... Granted, we have this on the field. But if we draw Ogre, Ogre can just hit over this. Ooh! Hold up. Hold up. All right, I got a plan. I got a plan. Okay, I'm gonna Quaking to purposefully bait this. So infinity is once per turn. This is going to flip. I get to dump Bear Grum, and now I can bring back Bear Grum. Because now I have three, because the Vein is my third card. All right. That's a good card. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we just go for it. Uh, you, you, you. Behold my boss monster! Uh, do I want to wipe my own board? This only destroys face-ups. Only face-ups. So I would destroy my Dynomicious. May as well get the damage in, I guess, right? Yeah, we'll just get in for damage. <laughs> 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 
the set maxi. They could have gotten some value off my Beargrim being special, but they uh, they shotgunned it. <laughs> well, at least my Dynomicious is sticking around, right? Oh, he has Sidra in hand. He could just special it. They added that Sidra like a few... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I need two insects or plants. So Naturia Camellia is the card we want off the top here. Oh wait, I couldn't have I couldn't have used Beargrim's effect. He would just negate with infinity. What the fuck am I thinking? That sucks. That would have been useful for the infinity. That's pretty good. Add core, normal core, add overload fusion if they play the second and I'm dead, right? Uh, can core even add overload? Master might do it anyway. This is winnable. Just need a little bit of luck and heart of the cards on our side. Please... Okay. We're two thirds of the way there now. Okay, this might wrap it up. This chalice might actually have to uh, save us here. I have to chalice this. This is going to get out of hand if I don't. Chalice coming in clutch there. They can link into Seeger. Which is actually good for us, because then we can pop it with Maneater Bugs. It actually made our life way easier. <laughs> okay. Come on! Come on! No, that's not a monster. Oh my God. Do I even set it? Oh, I guess I said it. Oh, well. Unbelievable. I should not have set this. I don't know why I did. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's also not a monster. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, man. That's a good card, though. That's a very good card. Oh, my God. I can't take this. Monster. That's not... I wasn't specific enough. <laughs> Fuck. Our deck is like all live cards. How have we whiffed this many? Oh, this is so bad. Okay. Okay. Imperms? Those could be imperms, because they purposely set them in our call. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Any insect or plant. Any insect or plant. This is insane. This is insane. Any insect or plant. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we did it! It's not over, but we did it! Oh my god. Go, my residence insect! <laughs> Holy shit. All right, in six turns, the game will end. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Galaxy Soldier was a card in hand. I figured they might be bricking on, like, cards they can't do a ton with. Oh, uh, okay. Going for the infinity. Well, let's see if it's imperm. It's not. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna banish this. This. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. They can make fortress. I guess that was the argument to Ice Dragon's prison, the Naster instead, because Galaxy Soldier wouldn't be considered a Cyber Dragon. That's rough, but I think we can work with it. Da, 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 da. So we can bring back Beargrum. What's the math on that? Beargrum attacking over the monster plus solitary sword is 68. I'd lose five, so I'm 63. That's not lethal. Hmm. They also have three back row, but I don't know if any of those are real. One, two, three. I do have three. Let's bring back the Lord and Savior. Let's see if this prompts anything. Uh, let's get rid of Dragon Bite. I need to start getting damage in. I just don't know like what else they have. They're playing like a ghost second deck. If they get like any Cyber Dragon though, we're like dead. I don't think there's a clean way we can do it. I think we have to hope they just don't get a Cyber Dragon and they don't have a third Fortress Dragon in the extra deck, which is probably pretty unlikely. They have something reactive back there. If they get a Sidro, we're probably dead. I don't know if there's any way to like work around that. Well, they need the third Fortress Dragon. Okay, okay. 39, four. That's exact game. Holy shit. We have exact lethal. It's pretty good. It's another guy. Uh, I'm just going for it. Please. Oh, we did it! Holy shit! Peregrim, lead the way! Oh my god! What a game! What a game! Holy shit! Only one legacy ticket for that? That's lame. Oh my god! Well, let's open a master pack for that, ladies and gentlemen. We get rewarded. Oh my god. Let's remember we got Feather Dustered, Raigeki, and Lightning Storm that game and still won. Just for the record. Just for the record. Contact with Gusto. Supremacy. I don't know how many wins we have. This is an okay Link 3 if we actually have wins. Uh, This guy probably sucks. Yeah, that's not good. Alchemic Magician. We can't summon that. Box of Friends. Doesn't do much for us. Gold Moon Coin. That's terrible. Hey, Swiss Scarecrow's not terrible. There's definitely, like, worse cards that we could have gotten. I would have liked something better, but, like, this is okay. All right, not bad. Let's open our one legacy pack. One legacy pack for that. We play out of our mind to get one legacy pack. <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, man. All right. They must have had, like, called by or imperm in the back row and, like, didn't fire them. Because they have nothing else that could have been used in response. They didn't have any cards in hand. Maybe they thought Beargrum was uh, an activated effect, not, like, a summon condition. So they were waiting to call by it. Or maybe they didn't think about imperming in response to the Ice Dragon's prison. I don't know. This hand's okay. Well, this looks like a real deck. Exo Sister. Gross. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time. If they didn't have Martha, I would have stayed because I think it may have been winnable, but Martha, I think, makes that impossible. With that hand, at least. All 
Oh, we're going first. Um, they made us go first. How much do I really want to commit into this? My thinking is that if I set just the one, if they, they're probably not going to be inclined to like Lightning Storm or Duster for one. Another Cyber Dragon, huh? Maybe we made the right call. Oh, they're playing the weird jank. A keel. Okay. They're definitely going through all the motions. Oh my god, they're playing fusion support? That's crazy. Oh, they're going in. Let's see what they're making. The rampage. Uh... Am I missing something? Nice card. They dumped Hurts. Hurts lets them add a card. It's fine. This is where they activate the second power bond and I get absolutely obliterated. All right, cool deck. If only I had that Econ still and I could have just taken this and won the game. That would have been nice. All right. I have to think how we want to do this. They still have a back row. They have Sidra in hand. Uh, da, 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 da. Cool. <clears throat> Thinking how I want to do this. So I can flip the Maneater bug, pop the Rampage. I could go Camellia. Camellia dump. Or I tribute for the Rescorpio because then the Rescorpio can actually withstand uh, a special Sidra hitting the field. So that's probably better. Uh, let's do that. This person's probably shitting that I just flipped a Maneater bug right now. Tribute summoning Rescorpio. Who would have thought? Unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do about Chimera triggering. I'm gonna have to get rid of it at some point anyway. On the overflow, huh? I mean, that's fine with me. Rescorpio is just gonna float. The only problem is they can just re-trigger this Chimera. Uh, do I kill this off? Wait, this was... Was this special? No, this was normal, wasn't it? Yeah, they normaled this, so I can't even do this. Uh, if they summon another Rampage... I'll set this.
The problem is they still have a lot of cards in hand. They're going to pitch something for Chimera. <laughs> they didn't activate the Raigeki. They didn't activate the Raigeki. I'm just going to put that out there. They didn't activate the Raigeki. Oh, geez. They are going for it again. All right. Rampage number two. They have enough Cyber Dragons. Oh, they're going for the big boy this time. Oh, shit. Well, now we're probably cooked. Oh. That's not what I thought they were going to summon. Uh, do, 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 do. Activates Carter effect, send it, equip card, you control the grave. So I have to do this now. Okay, I don't have a battle phase. I don't have a battle phase. I don't have a battle phase. Okay, so they still haven't done anything this turn, which is a problem. They have three other cards in hand. They haven't normaled. Okay, so one of them's a Cyber Dark. They might randomly have a Cydra in their hand, but they might have discarded it. Ooh, that's cool. Do I even have an insect? I do. Huh. Not that there's much we can do with it. It's a nice card. Um, That's 1,000. That's 16. 26. I think I want to do Camellia just because it allows me to, like, put some pressure on. Do I do Vein or do I do Horn Needle? They special summon. Vein's just going to get eaten by anything. They're not doing anything. I'm going to do Horn Needle. Okay. I don't have a battle phase, so I'm going to go to my battle phase and end the turn. This allows me to at least, like, pressure them to a degree. Because if they summon, Kamali can bring back Horn Needle, and then I at least have, like, a disruption. I can't get in damage, unfortunately. That would have been the best case scenario. But at least I can put up, like, a defense here. See, I wasn't going to have... Uh, I wouldn't have Vayne for this situation anyway. So that's fine. They would have had to summon first. So this is where Vayne could be good. Because if this was Vayne... I don't know what they're going to add off of this, though. They've also got... Haven't they gone through all their cores? One. That's their third core. But even... If, whatever they add here, if I specialed Vayne, they could just go battle, attack over the Vayne, and then activate anyway. So I think Horn Needle was still the correct choice here. Because it doesn't really change much. I guess if they're trying to win the game, though, they would fire whatever spell it is. But if they know I have Vayne, they're not going to do that. That's just dumb. Isn't Cyberlow just from Field? Field and or Face Up Banished. Ugh. Which is like everything they have. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Horn Needle's still looking pretty good. Had a Sydra. If I Horn Needle this, what happens? They go Cyber Load and I die? I think I let this rock. I thought they may have had a Sydra still in hand. Please attack Horn Needle. Please attack Horn Needle. Please attack Horn Needle. Please attack Horn Needle. 
Well, wait, now that they're in battle phase, I don't fucking care. I don't think I give a shit. What does this do? They lose the Sydra. They're in battle phase, though. Oh, they can cyberload me in battle phase, can't they? Mm. So it doesn't matter then, right? Like, if they're going to cyberload me, they're going to cyberload me. I'm going to let this go. Unless the 300 life points matters, which, I mean, it could. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this was my point. Let's see what they're making. Can they even make something that can kill me from this position? I don't even know. Because if they can't use... Rampage Dragon can't use its effect to send, so it doesn't get the triple attack or whatever. Cyber Twin doesn't have enough attack either, because it's only 28 times 2 is 56, plus I have to hit through Camellia. I don't think I die here. Cyberload's for the rest of this turn. Okay. That's good to know. Three. Cyber End. I gotta be honest, I don't think I've ever seen this fucking card in my life. If you have a machine fusion monster in your graveyard, you can't pwn, you can't target with card effects, you can't be a strawberry card with effect. Sent to your grave by a post card, special summon a cyber dragon from your hand deck or grave, banish this card, pwn, you can't target fusion monster. Okay. That's still beatable. I've literally never seen this card in my life. Okay. Airgrum would be nice about now. So I can deal with this thing. The problem is they get a Sydra if I do deal with it. So like, then what do I do? Cyber Dragon Monster? Cyber Dragon from Hand Decker Grave? Hand Decker Grave, that sucks. Okay, this is gonna be weird. Normal special. What are they going to summon? You can punch over eternity. I just don't know what they're going to attack with. I need to know what they're going to summon. I'm going to do this first. Probably should have done it with Assault Roller. Uh, that's not good. Maybe I just lead these guys out. Target machine, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna... Neither player takes damage. Attack, attack. I just lose the stuff here. I don't know about... Um, the other one, I could have overlaid these for Firewall Exceed Dragon. Attacked, Metal Morph, cleared. But then we're still in the same predicament as we were before. I could have still overlaid here, and then, like, they have to use Seeger, and then, like, that happens, but, like, in either case, I don't think it's good. I don't think there's a clean way to deal with this. I didn't have a lot of time to really think about it, either. Oh, now it's just over. Straight up, they just make Chimera attack, and I lose. Okay. All right, so we were, we were, we were cooked here, anyway. This is fine. Yeah, just contact these three for Chimera Tech, and I'm dead. Let's see if that's what they do. Oh, they're not. They're going to make Infinity. I'm still dead here, right? Nova, Nova. I, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. I don't... I, I think I was dead in that case, no matter what, then. Man, that was... Oh, that felt winnable. That felt very winnable. Ooh, the level resist wall. Maybe we get to try this out. Oh, we're going first. Maybe we 100% do get to try this out. Uh, sure. I fear nothing. Harpies, Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, all those cards are imaginary. They don't exist. Oh! It's Blackwing! Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> oh, I can't really interact with this. This is sus. This is sus. This is the perfect amount for Kalut. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. What did they add this thing? Okay, that doesn't really do anything. Um, it doesn't matter though, right? Because I have, uh, I have Metal Morph. Am I really gonna... <laughs> Seems so bad. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I should probably wait, but it's fine. Uh, I have removal. I'll take the cylinder. Sure. The cylinder's funnier. Okay. Okay, maybe they didn't have Kalu. Maybe I was being paranoid for nothing. Four years of progression series is going to do that to you, okay? Actually has bestials. Well, that's irritating. Well, I guess I should have saved that metal morph, huh? If we can just protect the insect knight, insect knight can hit over it. <laughs> Which we can, because we have magic cylinder. Okay, this makes an eight. Ugh. Uh Well, I can't I, I can't nuke that. <laughs> They're sinking the insect knight. <laughs> That's great. Oh, for another bestial. Okay. That's annoying cuz that can actually kill my lab archfiend, but it is what it is. Um, am I afraid of a... Well, they can synchro no matter what. I don't, I can't pop this. So I think we let this go. We knew that was happening. Draco Berserker. What is this deck, by the way? It's like Blackwing with Bestial also playing like Draco Berserker, and then there's a fucking Bestial Lubellion in the I mean, that's a good card. Like, I get this, but still. Why Sarenir? That's weird. Okay. Uh, I think I just let this go. I can, like, level resist wall off of this, which is kind of cute. Yeah, I think we let this go. All right, so I need to equal seven. Is there anything cute I can do here? Resonance is four. So I need a three. <gasps> I can get Supra or a uh, Twist Cobra too. Wait, how come I can't select more than one? Level that destroyed monster. Wait, I'm so confused. Why can't I pick more than one? I want to do more than one. Oh, oh, okay. So you do that first. I see. Um, Twist Cobra is cool, but I need fodder for Bear Grum. So I actually think I go Botanical Girl. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's neat. Um, I'm going to cylinder this. I want to save this. Ins Am I going to save the insect knight for a whole turn, though? Maybe? Oh, wait. I might, actually. Yeah, wait. Hold on. Let me cylinder this. Oh. 
I'm gonna flashing fire this. The problem is Jerusalem can take out my um my Beargrim, but I can deal with that. That's fine. That's also very funny. Uh, they have enough darks and lights, so back to score one's not particularly good here. Okay, so what we can do is actually kind of sick. Insects or plants, right? Yeah. So what I can do here is... Does this do anything? Your opponent got targeted for attacks. If a monster of this card points to storm about a card effect, special summon level 4 lower insect from your hand or grave, but banish you on the season's field. Mm. I think I just like this better. <laughs> Botanical girl misses timing because it's a when you can't. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh shit! Ash was the last card. Oh no. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> okay, we're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Okay, I can't attack. I'm aware I can't attack, but here's what we're going to do. I'm just no way it goes to gray! Fuck! Alright, we lose. We're pro we're we're dead. We're dead. I forgot I can't have a monster. I forgot I and I forgot to go to battle oh we fought we're dead. I forgot to go to battle phase. I got so tilted because of the fucking ash on the residence. No! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. No, this was oh man. We so botched this. Shit. They're not doing a whole lot, to be fair, so we might be able to do something, but I'm we need to hard draw Beargrim. We need to hard draw Beargrim. That's the only way we're getting out of this. And even then, we still have Druus Worm. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh man, that's embarrassing. Oh my god, did you fucking Magnumut too? Yeah, we're dead. Hey, we're dead. We're dead. Even if I... Ah! I didn't actually think they were playing the branded spells and traps. Okay. We literally need, we literally need Beargrim. That's the only car. And even then, that's not going to be enough to get us out of this. All right, we're dead. Oh, I punted. I punted so hard. Oh, what am I doing? That was... Oh, my God. That was so winnable. That was so winnable. Fuck. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guide, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.